<laughs> Someone had to do it. That's the latest message from a New York dad making waves after taking his daughter out the Lee uh, Breeley School. His letter slamming the indoctrination that motivated his decision now gone viral. It's one heck of a letter, and it's just a mile away where the he from the headmaster at the Dalton School announcing his departure as the private school faces parental fury over its, quote, obsessive focus on race and identity. Here to react is the author of the forthcoming book, Woke, Inc., Vivek Ramaswamy. Vivek, I would love to start with this. I think if you're listening at home, go find this letter from this Brearley parent. It's absolutely stunning. His name is Andrew Gutman. Here's a little piece. He says, if Brearley's administration was truly concerned about so-called equity, it would be discussing the cessation of admissions preferences for legacy siblings and those families with especially deep pockets. If the administration was genuinely serious about diversity, it would not insist on the indoctrination of its students and their families families to a single mindset most reminiscent of the Chinese cultural revolution. Vivek, he sets the school on fire appropriately, metaphorically, of course, but he, he takes to task all of their anti-racism as racism. You know, the question is, will we see more of this? I think and hope we will see more reactions like this because, look, diversity is a good thing when it is about diversity of thought. But today what's happening, especially in our schools, is we have taken this notion in the name of diversity. We have sacrificed true diversity itself. And, and we've also sacrificed the idea of excellence. In my mind, diversity is not just an end in itself. It is part of a means towards the end of excellence itself. And when we've gotten rid of excellence, I think our schools are going down the tubes. Woke well, culture used to be about challenging the system, and that was okay maybe 20 years ago. But today it has become the new system. It's infecting our schools. It's infecting our culture. And in my opinion, what we're seeing in a lot of these schools is actually downright illegal. So I'm glad some parents are having this fine to begin to stand up. It's going to take more who are willing to stand their ground. You know, Vivek, one of the things that I have always loved about children is that children don't see the world through the lens of race. They don't see race at all. And now you have these schools coming in and trying to force them to look at their race, someone else race, and see the whole world through the lens of race. Uh, what are the implications of this for these kids' future? Yes, yeah, so I think it is going to be really damaging. We're poisoning the minds of our next generation. And the thing about America as a country is that we are not, like many other countries through human history, defined on the basis of a single ethnicity or a single language or a single monarch, for that matter. America is an idea. And part of being an idea as a country means this. The way we describe America affects the way that America actually works. That's why we call it the American dream. It's a dream for a reason. It's something we aspire to. Our notion of e pluribus unum is something we aspire to. That's what we should be teaching our kids, is the set of ideas that bind us together. Instead, we have been obsessing over our diversity, really our differences, for a decade now, forgetting all of the ways in which we're actually the same, and now that's getting transmitted to the next generation. So I think the way we describe this country to them will affect that it works, will affect the way the country works in the next generation. And I think that's something to be really frightened of. You know, Vivek, um, why isn't there an emphasis on history? You know, it troubles me that there's so much focus on the wokeism instead of teaching all the stories of America in these books. You know, when I go on air and I hear people say they just learned about Black Wall Street last year or, you know, uh, Juneteenth, that's a failure of our education system. Why? That's an American story. So why not the emphasis on that instead of wokeism? I love that point, and I actually think that we have spent so much time bashing our founding fathers as though they were one monolithic group, right. when in fact this was a diverse polyglot group of people. Instead of tearing down our monuments and our statues, I say this, let's build one for John Adams. He was the second president of the United States. He was somebody who actually did not own slaves on principle. He was an abolitionist. We have a monument for Washington and we have a monument for Jefferson. I'm not saying we should tear those down. I'm saying let's build one for yeah. John Adams. That right. ought to be actually the, the content of, of American history that both the wokists and the rest of us can all get behind in a unifying way. I, I, I love what you said. I think our history has the answers. We have been per imperfect. Right. We have always been imperfect. We will always be imperfect, mm -hmm. but we're about the pursuit of perfection. That's what our history teaches us. Uh, back to Brearley for just a moment. This is a $54,000 a year school in New York City. Andrew Gutman sent this letter to all the parents whose children attend that school and the administration. Here is the school's response. Our students noted that as this letter, which denies the presence of systemic racism across their doorways, the evidence of ongoing racism, systemic or otherwise, is daily present 
in our headlines. You should again read Gutman's letter because he addresses those that type of language, that vacuous, um, ambiguous response. That type of thing is exactly what he's tired of his children being taught, and that's why he's no longer willing to pay, you know, fifty-four thousand dollars a year to have his children brainwashed. Um, Vivek, you are ensuring that no one is brainwashed this morning. You're giving us a new perspective that everyone needs to hear as well. Thank you so much. Thank you, Vivek. Thank you.